All right, everybody, welcome to class. Uh, I'm coming to you live from Costa Rica. It is now about 10 a.m. And uh, this hour, we are going to be practice our speaking skills. Um, my, uh, my topic for this hour is going to be clothes and fashion. All right, we're not going to be talking just about what kind of clothes we like and things like that. Well, hopefully not. We'll 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 see. Depending on uh, the questions that I that I find, we have a really long list. Um, but uh, also, um, if uh, clothes clothes and fashion are important to you, or should they be important, or things like that. So um, that's uh, that's what we're we are going to be uh, going over. But first off, let's see who we have in class. Uh, Ahmad, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. And how are things going? Uh, pretty good, very good. I uh, I take my eg exam uh, maybe uh, uh, one week ago, and okay. uh, my, my score is uh, 31 from 35. Awesome. Is that uh, is that a passing grade for you? Yeah, I think uh, four, four point uh, is very good. Very awesome, man. Good for you. Well, congratulations. That's good news. Um, so when 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 do you officially hear back from them? Uh, how uh, uh, officially? So when when do they let you know um, if if it's a passing grade or or things like that? No, uh, actually, this exam is uh, not the final exam. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. W when is your final exam? Maybe uh, two weeks, three weeks, like that. Okay. Awesome, man. Well, well good for you. Please uh, let us know how it goes. Okay. All right, man. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we also have Hasina. How are you? Hasina, how are you? Oh, make sure that your microphone is not muted. No, it's not. Oh, there we are. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How's, how's things going with you? Are they going just fine. How about there? Awesome. Oh, I'm doing well. I had, uh, I had some French toast this morning. Uh, a, little, <laughs> a, a bad meal, but uh, it's okay. <laughs> every, you, can, uh, you can have a bad meal every once in a while, right? Of course. Awesome. All right. Well, welcome, welcome back to class. It's good to Thank have you. you here. Thank you. Let's go to uh, Lilu. Is it Lilu or Lilu? Hello, uh, Lilu, Lilu. All right. Make sure that your microphone is not muted. I'll be right back with you. Okay. And we also have Mon. Yeah, hi. How did your hi everyone? Well? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Yeah. Yes, uh, okay. Uh, my name is Meng Tien. I'm come from Vietnam. From Vietnam? Uh, Excellent. Yes. Uh, and uh, what do you do? Yeah, I'm a student in uh, college. Okay, and what are you studying in college? Yeah, I am studying chemical. Okay, so chemistry. All right, awesome. Very cool. Well, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. And uh, yeah, how about uh, Tarcisio? How are you? Oh, Tarcisio has gone. We do have Abigail. How are you, Abigail? Oh, Chad, I'm very, very, very good. <laughs> Why? Why are you so good? What's going on? Because uh, this morning, uh, uh, for a uh, company called me. Uh -huh. And uh, I have a, a job interview tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> awesome. And uh, and what uh, what kind of a job is it going to be? Uh, it's for administration. Great. Yeah. Great. So you're going to be working uh, in the office a little bit and working on administration. <laughs> oh yes, yes. Hopefully, hopefully, if everything goes well in the interview. Very cool. <laughs> and uh, what kind of a company is it? Uh, it's a company which is uh, dedicated to I don't know how to say it in English uh, the um, wood boxes for um, transporting things. Okay, you know? those are called uh, crates. 
They're called crates, or now are they flat, or are they an actual box that you put something in? Yeah, it's uh, uh, all kind of boxes and platforms uh, made in wood. Okay, so those are called crates and pallets. Uh, uh, yeah. A crate, a crate is a is the box. Okay, all made yeah. of wood. A pallet is flat, and you put something on it and then strap it to it. Yeah, pallet is is the same word in Spanish. Uh, okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. <laughs> yeah, so crates and pallets. Awesome, very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Well, good luck. I hope uh, I hope you Thank get you. the job. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's see who else we have. We have Ahmad. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing well. How are you, Chad? I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking. Uh, anything new going on in your life, Ahmad? Yes, yes. I mentioned yesterday. Uh, a friend of mine uh, had uh, an eye surgery. So uh, I just, uh, yeah, today yeah. morning. Yeah, he texted me back. Yeah, he's. Uh, Fine now, but uh, he might uh, come home this uh, uh, this evening. All right. So, uh, so did he have to? He had to stay in the hospital for for a day. Uh, yeah, just yeah, one day, just to make sure that. Uh, okay. Very fine. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everything was okay. Yeah. That's well, it. good. I'm glad. I'm glad that everything turned out okay. Yeah, thank you. Alhamdulillah. Awesome. All right. Let's. Uh, Let's see who else we have. We have Amparo. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. You? I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking. And uh, how about you, Amparo? Anything new going on? Well, the the country is waiting for the game today. Ooh, who are you playing? Ecuador with Paraguay. Ah, okay. And uh, who is the favorite to win? I don't know yet. We <laughs> <laughs> we have to wait until the the, the soccer game. Okay. All right. Now it was it was interesting because I don't know if you uh, uh, follow soccer or uh, football very much. I don't very much, but um, no, last I, Friday. No, I am not a soccer fan. But ah, my okay. family, everyone is is fan. So. <laughs> All right. Well, it was interesting here last Friday because uh, Costa Rica was playing the United States. Yeah. And they were playing in the United States in a place called Denver. Now, Denver is freezing cold. Yeah. And it's snow. I, I, I saw the, game. the news. With, it, <laughs> it's all like a hockey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Yeah. I don't yeah. know why they didn't call the game. But anyway, <laughs> uh, are they playing in Ecuador or are they playing in Paraguay? Yeah, here in Ecuador. Ooh, fun. Yeah. Fun. Quito. All right. And uh, and are you guys going to get together and uh, watch the game on TV? Yes, my family, yes. I okay. just uh, go to, to watch when someone says, uh, go, no more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to spend two hours Only for there. the exciting parts, right? Only yeah. for the exciting parts. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing. That's great. All right. Let's see who else we have. We have Anastasia. How are you? I am uh, today Hilmazir. Ah, yes. Okay. Because I have not seen any messages in the chat box. So you are yes, definitely sure. Oksana. Yes, she also wants to in this class. Do you repeat this class? Uh, another yes, time? Uh, I do. Um, uh, let me look at my my schedule or my schedule, depending on how you want me to say it. Uh, let's. Let's see. Today, I think I repeat it at. Nope, I do the V sound today. Okay, so I repeat it at 5 o'clock, so in about 7 hours, um, I repeat this class. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I, uh, I, uh, I, I, I created a, a couple V sound classes. Uh, what's up? Uh, in the night, after 7 o'clock, we have night. Uh, say that one more time, Oksana. Uh, after 7 o'clock, oh, okay. we have night. Yeah, well, right I, now. I think she sleep. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, she probably. <laughs> she, sleep. she probably is. Um, we. Uh, uh, yeah, it's because it's 10 p.m. where you're at right yeah. now. Okay, it's no problem. It's okay. It's fine. Okay. All right. No worries. 
-hmm. And uh, so, how how are you, Oksana? I am fine, thank you. How are you, Chad? I'm doing quite well, thank you for asking. Is there anything new going on in your life? Uh, not not much, not much. I think uh, you have more uh, new because you go swimming with children and something. <laughs> you have hot weather, we now not very hot and we don't have any swimming pool near house. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, well, it's, it, that's one of the benefits of living in uh, Central America. Uh, but yes. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for sharing and uh, welcome back to class. Thank you. Let's go to Dmitri. How are you? Uh, hello, Chad. I'm pretty good. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking. Uh, so, what's going on? What's new, man? Uh, everything is all right. I held back from my university uh, uh -huh. a few days ago. Now, I join your classes again, and uh, there is uh, it is really very brisk out of doors. It is snowing right now. It has Ooh. been snowing from morning, yeah, and the weather I think is uh, is near zero degrees out of wow, doors. Wow, that's freezing! It is really spring. <laughs> wow, wow, but uh, everything's okay indoors. You have your heater on, and it's nice and warm, right? Yes. All right, good. So cold, how was yeah. that? How did everything go at the uh, university? Um, everything is all right. I have had only uh, good mark, not excellent in my English, and I need to work uh, more hard. <laughs> okay. And in the game. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you you would say I need to work harder instead of more hard. I need to work harder. Thank you. <laughs> All right, okay. man. Awesome. Thank well, you. welcome back to class. Good to have you here. Um, now, uh, Ahmad, uh, the words I said are the same exact words, but they say it differently in uh, in England. So, uh, in the United States, we say schedule. Yes. And in uh, in Britain, they say schedule. Ah, yeah. Schedule. Okay. Yeah, they pronounce that as an sh sound. Schedule. Okay, thank you. All right. Yeah, I learned that when I was watching uh, BBC when I was about eight years old. And I turned over to my dad. I was like, Dad, what does schedule mean? <laughs> and uh, uh, he laughed at me. What's that? Can I say something? Sure. Uh, yes. I've been, uh, I've been learning English in uh, an American school here in Algeria. And I've been speaking in the American accents for years. And then... Uh, university, uh, most of my teachers speak in the British, British accent. Yeah. That then um, I didn't feel even how I am influenced by their British accents, and my accent started changing yes. without even my wish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's uh, and, and it's funny because it it uh, it does that. So I learned I learned Spanish in uh, in Argentina. Argentina has a specific accent. They have a certain way of saying things and whatnot. Um, and so does so does Abigail. Abigail is from Spain. She has a certain way of, of pronouncing the words, how the how their words flow together, and everything like that. What about um, mine? Uh, what's that? About mine. I mean, do you see it's influenced by oh, my definitely. mother tongue? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I can, I can, oh. I can hear the tones, the tones that you use, and the way that your words fit together. It's a, it, you you say them in a British manner. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and the funny thing is, is that in different parts of the United States, you'll you'll you have different influences. Okay, oh, yeah. and so if someone is like, let's say, from New York or Philadelphia, they will sound completely differently than someone that's living in California. Okay, and so you have all these all these uh, different uh, different accents and, and ways to pronounce things. And there's certain places in England where they sound completely different than other people that are in. That I live love in the it. Same it's country. elegant. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. It is. So, it, yeah, it's very interesting. But yes, I definitely can hear the influence in uh, in your voice, your inflections, and and your pronunciations. But it's cool. Everything's cool. <laughs> All right. Let's see who else we have. Uh, we have Mohammed. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking. Good. And uh, Mohammed, I, I don't think I've had the pleasure of having you in my class. No, this is the first time. Okay. Now, is it your first time here to Verbling or first time here no, in no, my no. class? No, 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 no. First time with you. Awesome. And Mohammed, where are you from? I am from France. Oh, awesome. 
What part of France? <laughs> uh, suburbs of Paris. And the suburbs of Paris. Yeah. Nice. And and what do you do? I'm a student. I'm attending business uh, school. Okay. And uh, how many more years do you have left? One left. One <laughs> more. Finish. Okay, one All more. Right. Yeah. Uh, are you planning on staying there in France, or are you going to go to another country? Uh, no, I want to to move to to leave France. Yeah, I want to to leave. Okay, and where do you want to go live? I don't know. Maybe uh, Asian country like Indonesia or maybe Japan. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. Very cool. Saudi Arabia. Yeah. <laughs> Saudi Arabia. <laughs> awesome. Uh, all right. Well, cool. Welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Let's go to Selma. Selma, how are you? Uh, hi, teacher. I'm fine. Hi. <laughs> Now, Selma, I remember your name a little bit, but I don't remember the picture. I hope you're not crying here uh, in this picture. You're not crying, are you? No, or you, not. Or were you just embarrassed that they were taking a picture? <laughs> no. All right, so, uh, so Selma, uh, please remind me. Where are you from, Selma? Uh, I am from Algeria. Okay, yes. All right, now I remember. Awesome. So mm -hmm. how are things going? Uh, Selma, you are the, also the person that speaks, uh, what, two other languages? You speak French and... Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, French and... Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> but your other, your, your other picture was you sitting at a table, right? <laughs> Something like that. That's what I remember. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Selma, how, how are things going? Uh -huh. how's, how's your life? Is everything fine? Selma, can you hear me okay? Yeah, actually, yes. Uh, I am excited. I'm preparing for my... Yes, teacher. Okay, there's a, probably a little bit of a lag. Hello, teacher. Yes. Mm -mm. And now, can you hear me, teacher? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> yeah, yes, we can hear you. It just uh, the the travel uh, time is a little bit. Uh, uh, it's probably about five five to six seconds. Excuse me. So, Selma, uh, what are you so excited okay. about? I'm preparing for my. Thesis. I will graduate after two months. So uh, I want to go. Uh, I want to find job as long uh, <laughs> as long as as soon as I can. Mm. And I have a lot of plans to do after graduation. So I hope uh, I can make them. Yes, that's it. Um, um, do you want to, uh, um, Actually, no. I'm thinking to... Maybe I'm going... If I want the green card, I'm going to Massachusetts, Boston. In <laughs> Boston, yes, yeah, teacher. All right. Well, very cool. Um, and uh, we do have a little bit of a uh, of a lag uh, before my words actually get to you. So that's why I was typing to you. It's actually faster for me to type to you than it than it would be for me to uh, to talk and and uh, get a response. So that that is perfectly fine, though. Um, awesome. So this this hour we're going to be. Uh, um, Answering questions more than anything, I really love uh, lo love these type of classes because we just get to uh, talk and practice our English, and that's really what I want to do. If you have any uh, 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 major mistakes uh, in grammar and how you put words together, I'll correct you. Um, I'm not going to be uh, focusing so much on on pronunciation as much, uh, but uh, just so that we can practice our English and and answer answer questions about a random topic. Okay. All right. So. The uh, the link that I have is right here. All right, so go ahead and and open that up when you do. This is what you shall see. 
Okay, and um, so we are going to be talking about clothes and fashion. Uh, let's start over on the uh, left-hand side this morning. We'll start off with Abigail. And it used to okay. be Ahmad that I that I, I used to, used to have two people that I usually started with because their names <laughs> always started with A, uh, Ahmad as well as uh, another gentleman by the name of uh, Abdallah, and uh, and now. Uh, Abigail is beating you guys out because her name is A.B. Yeah. <laughs> I, I might add uh, the letter Z <laughs> at the beginning. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, uh, okay, let's, uh, let's see what we got. All right. All right, so I'm going to scroll down and pick a, pick a question. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Okay, uh, because I almost do. I, I think I, I, I still have shirts from 10 years ago. So, um, Abigail, do you wear the okay. same same color clothes now that you wore 10 years ago? Uh, merely, but uh, no, not actually, no. Because uh, um, 10 years ago, I was a kind of gothic. <laughs> really? Yeah, <laughs> and I I always uh, wore um, black clothes. <laughs> wow! And uh, yeah. and did you listen to like Marilyn Manson and all that stuff? I I, I preferred Evanescence, you know. <laughs> Evanescence. Okay. Yeah. All right. That makes sense. Very and, interesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, so you've changed just a little bit then. No, that's an exaggeration. You've changed a, a lot. Wow. Bit. Now, now I love purple. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good. Okay, let's go to Ahmad and your question. Let's see. Um, okay, so do you often buy new clothes, Ahmad? Um, um, not uh, really. Uh, once or twice a year, yes. Okay. I that, I'm I'm about the same way, you know. I yeah. get some new pants or uh, a couple new shirts, something like that. But yeah. yeah, I'm not a big clothes shopper. Yeah, it depends, but uh, uh, I would be happy if someone uh, would like to give me as a present. It is okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Very nice. Uh, let's see, uh, Amar. Let's go to you. Uh, let's see. Okay, so easy question, please. <laughs> an easy one. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see if this is easy. Oh, enough. this <laughs> is it too long? No, it's okay. Okay, so let's try it out. It says, "What fashions? What fashions that you see today do you think will be out of fashion within two years?" I think this is question for girls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me uh, let me find it. It is it is a good question, but let me find. Uh, okay, how about this one right here? All right, so Ahmad. Oh, I'm, I apologize, Ahmad. Um, what colors do you think look good on you? Mm. Uh, actually, I I don't change my color. It's always white. Uh, in Saudi Arabia we dress white. In okay. the summer in the summer white and uh, cold we everybody choose uh, color. But I always uh, dress white. Oh, okay. Change. So you usually have a, a white uh, a white shirt that goes up on top. Are your pants white as well? No, not uh, pants or shirts. Like a, 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 a dress from Okay, one, kind of uh, one, one piece. Uh, one piece, Andorra. yeah. Mm -hmm. One piece. Okay, yes. so one piece. It's uh, probably uh, probably uh, uh, we may call that a tunic. Uh, a tunic, which would uh, it's kind of a um, a longer. I I know I I can picture what it is in my in my mind. Um, uh, a tunic isn't exactly right or what we would call it, but it's it's more of just kind of a longer. Uh, a longer, longer piece of, of clothing. Now, does yours, uh, does it go past your your knees all the way to the ground? Uh, look to the picture. I uh, post oh, did the you picture. Give me a picture. Yeah. Uh, me a okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, that's uh, sort of what I was thinking. So uh, a little bit longer. I've seen uh, I've seen uh, others that uh, that have 
where where they wear maybe pants underneath and it goes about to the about to the knees. Uh, I don't know uh, the 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 difference or or um, or why why uh, some people wear a longer one and others others not. But uh, okay, very cool. So you usually wear white. And then in the winter time, what colors do you usually wear? Mm. Ah, okay. That's uh, fine. I, I, I I uh, I use uh, white for uh, each uh, for the summer or the cold. No, no different. Okay, so always white. Okay, interesting. Very yeah. nice, man. Well, thank you. Uh, let's go to Amparo. And okay, so let's uh, let's do this question for you. Um, I like this question a lot. This is cool. So what fashions that you see today do you think will be out of fashion in two years? Um, animal print. The animal print? <laughs> yeah. For, for Are... instance, color. Uh-huh. And that platform in the, with high heel. Uh, ah, okay. And, so the yeah. big shoes. Yeah. I, I have another one um, that's that uh, is probably uh, going to uh, disappear for for guys, which are the really tight pants. Have you seen ah, like yeah, uh, yeah. some some teenagers and whatnot walking around in really tight pants? Well, when yeah. I was when I was a teenager, it was the exact opposite. You wore really big <laughs> pants. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's really it's really funny uh, because it they uh, we wore really big pants and then it got smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until it it's like it, it's funny looking to me. Yeah. But whatever. You, you know? can now I just wear I just wear regular wait. jeans. That pants What's that? look more for women that than for yeah. men. <laughs> Yeah, and it's funny because when that style first came out, uh, the guys who wanted really tight jeans would buy female jeans. Uh, yeah. yeah. And they were telling me about it. I was like, "No, that's crazy, man. I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with my regular jeans. <laughs> you know, everything will be fine." So yeah. yeah. Anyway, okay. Uh, let's see. But I like that. Yeah, animal print. Oh, I don't know why it's so big, but it is. Oh. Uh, all right, let's go to Oksana. And your question is? I am afraid. <laughs> no, your question. Oh, don't be afraid. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's do, let's do this here. Okay, this is a simple one. So, Oksana, what kind of clothes do you usually wear? Um, I prefer uh, sport clothes. Uh, okay. Sports style because uh, we go with daughter very often to play tennis, and I feel comfortable in this dress. Okay, so um, like uh, uh, maybe the, shorts the or uh -huh, during the day. In the in the day, yes. In the evening, I prefer classic classic dresses, usually okay. black 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 color. All right, excellent, excellent. Very good, well, thank you for sharing. Let's go to uh, Dimitri. Okay. All right, Dimitri, let's, uh, let's see. Um, let's, uh... okay, oh, this is an interesting question. I think things are, are sort of trying to go that way right now. Um, what what would you think of a high school student who always wear more conservative clothes? So if you saw someone that wasn't uh, like following all the fashions and things like that, what would you think of them? Uh, okay. Um, uh, sorry, the word conservative it means uh, classic, yeah. Um, yeah, it would be. It would be. It would be m more like. Um, so if uh, a lot of the style right now is wearing strapless or, or not strapless but uh, uh, sleeveless uh, shirts or tank tops uh, for, for females uh, maybe showing more of their body and more of a conservative style would be to cover cover your body a little bit more um, and and not not reveal as much uh, okay I got you um, okay. I think that um, nowadays uh, the students must be stylish because there are a lot of really nice clothes 
close right now and uh, I think that uh, they need to wear classic dress only in uh, holidays or examination days. Okay, all right. All right, well, thank you. Thank you for, uh, for your, uh, your answer. Uh, let's go to, let's go to Hasina. Yeah. And let's see. Okay, so um, let's uh, compare, uh, let's compare the United States and your country there in Algeria. So we're going to say, what differences have you noticed uh, in fashions uh, in your country and in the United States? Oh, uh, well, I can I say, well, here, you know, according to religion, uh, yeah. according to religion, of course, even the type of clothes and kinds of clothes people wear are different, they are not the same. And because I am a Muslim girl, I'm, uh -huh. I surely put the veil. Here, we should cover all our bodies, uh, only our hands, feet, and face. Okay, and, and so when... Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, uh, keep going. Yes, I was about to talk there in the United States uh, that you have different religions. Maybe you have even Muslim people there. But here uh, you can say 95% are Muslims. So they have uh, almost the same way of dressing. Okay. Um, and uh, I've seen, um, and, and maybe maybe uh, we do have uh, we do have a um, uh, a couple. I, I know, I know Amar, uh, yes. Amar and uh, Ahmed. Uh, you you both are are uh, Muslim, right? As well as uh, Hasina, right? Yeah. And so yeah. Maybe, maybe you guys maybe you guys can uh, explain. Because because I am not, and um, okay, so I know uh, I know uh, it's it's customary to, to cover your hair for, for for females, right? But there's also some religions uh, or some places, not religions, but some places where the females actually cover cover their whole face, and you can't you can't see uh, any any piece of skin. Why why would there be a uh, a difference? You know what I'm saying? Why why in some there areas? There's no difference. Say that? Okay. There is no d different b between uh, Muslim. Uh, all mus all uh, women Muslim uh, must uh, cover uh, the, their faces. Okay. Not faces, but heads only. Hair. Uh, heads. Okay. All all the body. All the body, but the face, the face, ha the hands, and the feet. No, the face, the hand, the feet. All you must cover it. No. Can I say something about that? Sure, yeah. sure. Go ahead, Mohammed. Okay, so now we are debating on Islamic stuff, okay? Sure. If yeah. we talk about Islam, I'm not talking to you, but sorry, but a uh, Muslim guy who say we have to cover all our, all, sorry, girl have to cover all their face. Okay, if he is a Muslim scholar, he have to give us proof, because I am agree with uh, Selma or Hasna, sorry, I don't know, who said we don't have to cover our face, but she have to cover um, uh, his, uh, her hair, you know, hair. But face yeah. is not an obligation, it depends yes, it's on the faith. Yeah, I agree. Okay, well, I, 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 I don't want to uh, create any arguments or anything like that in here. Uh, I just I just wanted to know because uh, uh, a good word to, to call me right now would be ignorant. I, I don't know, and so that's why I was asking. So I don't, I don't want to create any uh, any issues or anything like that. Yeah, and I and I do, I do understand that there's uh, there's differences of understanding of of what uh, what females uh, should and shouldn't do. Uh, but yeah, so I, I was just I was just wondering that um, one uh, one of uh, one of the students that uh, that comes in. Her name is Akla. Um, she changes her picture quite often, but she always uh, and I forget what uh, what it's called. But uh, I, I would call it maybe a headdress. That covers her hair. It's always very beautiful and very pretty. Uh, the way that she wears it and the different styles that are there, and I really, I really uh, enjoy that. Now, are you are you able to do that, Hasina, in uh, in your in your country? Wear different colors, or do you have to, or should you wear uh, like a plain color, maybe white? No, blues? no, uh -huh. no. In matter of colors, it's okay. It's up to you, but it is a kind of not good for the girl to wear that attracted colors. It should, uh, she should, or she had better wear some colors that are not really attracted 
they don't attract people. That's sure. that's it. But not we cannot wear colors. Colors are okay, but not attracted ones only. Okay. Well, interesting. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, um, all right. Very cool. Let's uh, let's go on. And our next question is for Mohammed. And let's see. Let's go to. Let's go up. Um, okay. And I, I, when I was younger, uh, we, this is what we did. Okay. Have you ever made your own clothes? Wow. <laughs> no, never. You know, I'm not this kind of guy who is creative. No, no, no. I just follow. <laughs> <laughs> just follow the rules. <laughs> no, no, never. All right. Yeah. When uh, when I was younger. Um, we had uh, uh, shirts and uh, and uh, shorts uh, uh, that we would wear. My mom would make them, and it was uh, to save to save money. But yeah, we did that for for uh, quite a bit. It was very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I should try. I should try one day, maybe. <laughs> is there is there anybody else in class uh, have you uh, that has ever made their own clothes? Am I the only? Yeah, am I the me. only one? Me. Okay, you've done that. Yeah, but only shorts. When uh, perhaps a pair of trousers, uh, a pair of trousers are broken or something, okay. I cut cut you them. You cut them and, and make them into shorts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm talking. My mom would full on uh, design shorts and make them for us. It was great. Good times. Uh, okay, let's go to uh, Selma. And let's see, Selma, let's see your question. Let's go down here. Easy question, teacher. An easy question. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's, when and where did you buy an article, oh, golly, can't speak. <laughs> when and where did you buy an article of clothing you're wearing <laughs> right now? And why did you choose it? Uh -oh. mm -mm. You want me to get a different question? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. no worries. No worries. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, okay, how about this one here? Where do you usually buy clothes? From different stores, we have a lot of stores here and malls where I prefer to wear different brands. We have here uh, uh, Zara, uh, Coco, Coco Chanel and a lot of uh, brands. I'd like to change. I have not a specific uh, way of dressing. Uh -huh. So, yes. Mm -hmm. so okay. Cool. All right, so um, much like uh, much like uh, most people buying buying your clothes from uh, um, from the store and whatnot, um, some mm -hmm. sometimes where my my wife she would uh, it, when she was living in in Honduras she would buy buy clothes not from the stores but from from people that would would uh, go around door to door selling them. And so that's a, that's a big thing in, in Honduras. They would go door to door selling clothes. Drive me absolutely yeah. nuts, you know. But yeah, someone had a, a comment. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, also uh, very common in Pakistan. Uh, people buy cloth uh, uh, not from the not to go to bazaar or any big market is or uh, just for uh, big uh, uh, places where uh, cloth is uh, buying. But just to a person who bring the clothes uh, uh, to home, to home, just you have said it. it uh, so it is also common in Pakistan to buy um, cloth from a person who bring it to you. Who brings it to you? you to, yeah. Yeah, for home. Uh, yeah, yeah. Interesting. All right. Well, thank you for sharing, you guys. Uh, let's go to Abigail. Let's find a question for you. And how about we go down, down, down? Okay, how about this one here? Uh, what traditional clothes do people from your country wear? Oh. Okay, um, it depends on the region of Spain. 
uh, each region here in Spain has its uh, traditional dress. So uh, it depends, yeah, yeah, really. For example, here in the north, uh, where I live in Asturias, we have a, a very nice dress. It's uh, the, the traditional one. And um, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a, a long skirt. Mm -hmm. uh, usually red with okay. uh, with some uh, red strikes uh, red okay. no, sorry black strikes and uh, then uh, it's a white shirt and uh, it's it's nice because well <laughs> it's my traditional dress so <laughs> what have nice. I said? <laughs> I, I'll try to show you, okay? Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Look at. Look it up and uh, and uh, show us. Uh, show us a picture. That would be great. All right. Yeah. Let's go to uh, Ahmad. Yes. And Ahmad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. I like. I like this one right here. Okay. So for you. So, what would you wear to meet royalty or the president of your country? So would you okay. wear something uh, something different, something special, or uh, or uh, your normal your normal dress? What would you wear? No, no, no. There is uniform, yeah. Uh, what uh, Amar okay. mentioned before, yeah. It is a long. Uh, uh, I don't know how to say in English. It's a long uh, white dress uh -huh. uh, with uh, with something on our uh, uh, head. Uh, yeah, mm, this is our uh, uniform. Okay, so you would, yeah. uh, that uh, would it be the the same uh, same uh, type of uh, um, outfit that uh, Amar showed me in the in the picture? The, uh, the longer... Unfortunately, because I haven't seen uh, what Amar showed you. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, he yeah. Uh, it was up further. Give me yeah. one second, and I'll mm -hmm. I'll grab it. Okay, so this is what uh, this is what he had showed me. Uh, yeah. So is it is it similar to uh, similar to that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Let me see. Just uh, where is your uh, okay? Uh, what Amar uh, posted uh, already? Yeah. Yeah. He uh, he had. Uh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. All right. And then uh, and then also with a uh, um with uh, now it do you is it does what you what the the cat the what you wear on your head is that yeah. is it lifted it up at all or does it lay flat on the crown uh, of your head uh, I post another uh, photo to explain okay. yeah you can have a look at the second right. yeah. second link <clears throat> photos are awesome oh okay i see yeah. mm -hmm. awesome and and what is that what is that called that, that uh, goes around around your your head uh, uh, girl. <laughs> in, in English, I don't know really. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because I'm, I'm in Arabic. So, yeah. Sorry, uh, can I question? Sure. I z z name this dress Kandora, Arabic or what name? Uh, no, no, not Kandora. Uh, do you mean uh, the dress, uh, the white or uh, the red? Yes, one? yes, white dress, long uh, white dress. Yeah, we, 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 call, we call, I will type it. I don't know if you can. Uh, uh, read it or not? Yes, I can. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> tube. Tube. So, yeah, tube. Yeah. A soup? Tube. Ah, tube. Yes, oh, okay. We, we call it Sorry. Tube. Mm -hmm. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Awesome. All right. So that yeah, and that and that would uh, um would that uh, is is that is that something that you would normally wear wear like to go to work as well, or is that something that um um. That uh, it, that would be a more of a dressy style for you. Uh, no, it, it depends. Uh, depend on the uh, the garment, yeah. Okay, uh, a yeah. little bit finer, more yeah, more yeah. precious. Mm. Yes, you are right. Yeah, it depends okay. on the garment. Yeah, right. it depends Very on the cool. occasion as well. Yeah, that's why. All right. We have awesome. certain maybe tops or uh, garments for uh, uh, occasions and uh, normal uh, garment for uh, daily um, for daily dress. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Uh, all right. And Amar, let's find a question for you. Yeah, last question and I, uh, the pray time. <laughs> What's in the in the play time? Pray, pray, pray. Oh, 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 yes. Pray. Then you need to go yeah. pray. I see. Uh, let's see. Um, 
Ah, oh, jeez, come on. Okay, how about this one right here? What is the most expensive piece of clothing you have ever bought? <laughs> do you, do you, are any of your your clothes uh, expensive? I know I had a suit, a suit that I bought that was uh, it was pants and a jacket that with a shirt and a tie it cost me three hundred dollars, but I got it and I still have it. Um, so yeah, it was really expensive, but I use it. I use it all the time. Now, do you have a piece of clothing or or a suit or something like that that was that was really expensive that you got, Amar? No, I uh, maybe uh, the very expensive maybe. Sixty-seven dollars, because I I, uh, I uh, just uh, dress one tape. Uh, you sh uh, we showed you. Uh -huh. before. Just yeah. We're in that? One okay. tape for me. One tape of clothes. <laughs> All right. All right. And and your shoes. Do you have a special type of shoes that you wear as well, or can you wear any uh, any type of shoe? Actually. Uh, my father got me. He uh, buy shoes and uh, and uh, buy for me, uh, and I don't mind any shoes. Okay, all right, uh, very cool. Uh, 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 anything uh, to protect my feet. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, so just the basic, right? That's yeah. that's how how I am as well. I usually wear sandals uh, now, and so I don't I don't spend a lot in in shoes, uh, except for like when I'm going to like maybe a fancy restaurant, and then that's when I would wear my suit. So okay, all right, very okay. good. Thank you, Amar. Yeah, okay. See ya. Bye. Uh, let's go to Amparo. Your question is. Let's see. Let's go down to. Um, all right, so I like this one here, uh, but I want to change it just a little bit. Okay, um, so do you think uh, uh, dress code should be adhered to? Uh, the question. So um, uh, what I want to talk about is a dress code in school. All right, I know where where my kids go to. They don't go to a private school uh, here in Costa Rica. They go to a public school, but they have a dress code where everybody wears the same thing. Now, what do you think, uh, Amparo, of having a dress code? in school or should kids be able to dress to the fashions and things like that what's your opinion i think we uh, we have to have a dress code because it, it it's um, a problem now with the bullying at the school so mm -hmm. if you have the different kind of clothes probably you are going to get a, a trouble if among students one of them, and they say you have cheaper uh, clothes. Uh, you have uh, the, the, my clothes are better than you, and they create um, another trouble. For example, here, of all of the the college, the high school have uniform, even if uh -huh. they are private or public. And um, in that, um, maybe it's good in order to have. Um, a belonging relation mm -hmm. with the institution, and I don't know. It's it's better for me, and you uh, feel better because uh, the uniform are more cheaper. Uh, so yeah. You can, yeah, and Definitely. you don't have to to th to think what I am going to use tomorrow. It's it's easy to to use the same. <laughs> you have you don't have to uh, spend time uh, thinking what are you going to wear at the next next day. Okay, yeah, I, I agree. Um, uh, coming here to Costa Rica and having having people um, uh, wear a uniform was different for me because I never had that experience. But uh, because I I always went to public schools, I never went to a fancy school or anything like that. Um, uh, but uh, I, I never, I never in, came across any bullying or anything like that. Maybe because I was able to protect myself a little bit more. Yeah. Um, I never had the fanciest clothes uh, when I was in high school. I, I usually bought uh, secondhand. I, I bought clothes from secondhand stores uh, because they were cheaper. I could get a shirt for like fifty cents that uh, 
uh, that looked good and you know covered my body and I was fine, you know. Yeah. But that was uh, that was more of uh, of the style as well when I was in in uh, high school was to buy really cheap clothes, you know, and not really worry about uh, brands. And so I never had that issue. Uh, but here in Costa Rica uh, and in other places, I know in Honduras as well. Everyone worries about which brand you wear. You have to have American yeah. Eagle or whatever on your shirt, and uh, I'm just like yes. that's they, they they that's feel that's... under pressure all the time. They want to have the 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 more fancy clothes, and that is a problem even for the their parents because sure. they say, "Well, oh, yeah, the another guy has that kind of clothes, and my my daughter doesn't have." So they feel the same pressure yeah yeah Un it's unfortunate unfortunate yeah, um, I did want to uh, show a picture of the traditional clothing uh, now this is a, a, a picture of the traditional uh, wear uh, in uh, Abigail's part of the woods so yes with the, with this is the dress that you were talking about it's very beautiful very beautiful and and that is the the traditional dancing here I, so there was, a, um, and it's very, very awesome. There's a movie that that, uh, that I love. It's called Hannah. And there's a part in the movie where they uh, they stop off and they're in Spain. They go from Morocco to Spain, and uh, they stop off at like a campsite or whatnot. And they have a, uh, a flamenco guitar player and then Spanish dancing and everyone singing and clapping. I yeah, love it. but I thought it was that, that's not the same. <laughs> Flamenco is in the south. I live in the north. It's completely ah, okay. different. Completely <laughs> different. We have no flamenco here. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Let's go to uh, Oksana. Uh, yeah. And your question is. Yeah. All right. So, uh, right here. How often do you go clothes shopping? Clothes shopping. Mm. Mm. Last time we, we um, ordered a dress from uh, from uh, from online shop uh, oh, from okay. the Midwest port. Uh -huh. And I prefer it's now. I prefer uh, go to comp online shop online shopping. On online shopping, I think it's uh, more choice, and you can look. I not go. I don't like to go to shop to look because too many dresses. Um, okay, because there are too many dresses. Yeah, too, are too many dresses in shop and go and. Well, and that's um, the exact same reason why I don't like to go shopping. There's too much, <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, I don't like to yeah, spend time yeah. looking. Sometimes you don't know what you want to choose, but when you go to online shop, you one, two, three days think about this, exactly. <laughs> and after you, <laughs> and after you exactly uh, or order it what you want. Uh, when you go to shop, sometimes maybe you mm, uh, take dress. Uh, because some sellers say you it's very nice it's look it's very nice but it's not true I think when I come to home <laughs> <laughs> that's that is true awesome well thank you yeah. for sharing uh, let's go to Farhad and Farhad your question is um, did your parents ever sorry did your parents ever make you wear something you didn't like if I ever make you wear something uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, once um, uh, on a festival, uh, Eid al Fitr, uh, it is a, a Muslim festival just like Christmas, Xmas. So uh, often we celebrate it uh, in our country and uh, all the Muslims uh, uh, world. So once my father uh, uh, bought, bought me uh, a cloth. Uh, which was uh, totally, uh, totally uh, bad. I, I mean that uh, it was not uh, much, pretty much good cloth. So um, <laughs> that was uh, very really. Uh, so I was so miserable. I was so. Uh, I, I mean that uh, 
this the pistol was just gone uh, was just a burden on me uh, uh, at that time so wow uh, wow so yeah I, i mean that uh, the cloth was just not uh, so much good uh, and i was looking so bad i feel myself that i feel that uh, i'm not looking good uh, and this cloth and uh, well um, um but um as i just uh, um i just uh, uh, when i just wear then on the spot i uh, i unwear it and uh, i mean that i i just remove it from my body and uh-huh. wear uh, just my common dress and uh, so um because my friend uh, when i just uh, for a moment i just come out from my home so all of my friend are really uh, giggling they are, they are they was they were just uh, um uh smiling on my cloth that what did you wear uh what did so i was so i mean that i was so it was a very embarrassment for me so um this was uh, very bad so All sometime right. it's happened uh what you would say there is it was very embarrassing using the gerund form it was very embarrassing okay. for me okay okay embarrassing okay all right great okay. thank you thank you all right okay, let's go teacher. to teacher Okay I have a question that uh, what is the difference between the st- uh, the style and uh, non uh, style and a fashion is there any common difference between the style and a fashion uh fashion uh, fashion would be more and that's one of the questions that's here fashion would be more of the uh the uh clothes uh that uh, that you would buy okay uh, of the different uh, seasons and what not uh style in my opinion is the way that you wear them okay because can some I? some people okay. wear something differently can right? i try to answer him sure go for it hasina yes uh he said what's the difference between fashion and style fashion is yeah. according to time the latest uh styles that people are wearing nowadays but styles are not according to time styles are according to people and styles can differ from one to another from the the old days to nowadays styles are not really accor- according to time but fashion is that's it a uh, teacher you could you explain it to for me right now because i didn't understand what he said i, I think that he uh, did a very right but i didn't get any idea Oops. okay what well, it no it's okay so uh, what, ha- what hasina was saying was that fashions are according to time okay the fashions will will uh, will change all right uh, okay. but style style isn't Okay. okay so style okay. may uh, may last over a longer period of time um and what okay. what i would uh, conclude with that as well and and uh, what i was briefly saying was uh yeah y- it's your own way it's how you wear something okay uh okay, because okay. i can grab fashions that were from the 60s and wear them in my own style yeah 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 because okay, so, uh, if we talk about the uh, hair cut so sometimes some people uh, cut hair in uh, one way and uh, another cut it in so hair style just like uh, that so uh, yeah. the way up yeah yeah okay the way up okay, way uh, hair if you're talking about hair hair style and uh, anyway that 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 makes it makes it mean something just a little bit different a little bit different but uh okay. anyway uh all right you guys i was trying to trying to get through uh through to the end but we had a lot of uh, extra questions and th- things like that we are out of time unfortunately um thank you guys for coming to class it was uh, great having you here my next hour um i believe let's see i cannot recall my next hour i'm doing grammar okay yeah so i'm going over prepositions i had a uh, a, a student uh last week ask for uh, a prepositions class because he uh he said that he had a hard time with them and i said okay let me do it next week so yeah, this this week right uh, even today i'm doing uh, prepositions today as well as the v sound okay uh the difference between the v and the w as well as the p and the b okay so i'll be doing both of those uh different activities today all right you guys all right thank you for coming in the class it was a, a great uh an interesting conversation all right we'll see ya bye thank bye. you bye bye Thanks, everybody man. bye